Greetings! And welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Let's hope that I can shake off a little bit of the stupid this time. Start timer. And that's not a good way to start. Nope. We're off to the stupid start already. Fucking hell. How do I end up outside the back? Is it just putting me on random sides of the bonfire or am I just going full derp stupid here? Okay, yep, 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 okay, yep, 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 yep. Just die already. Where are my souls? I want my pittance of non replaceable souls. Yeah. Whatever. Just sit at the bonfire. Resist the urge for petty vengeance. this way. Yes. Yes. Nobody following me. Good. Good. Fucking good. Alright. Alright, it looks like boulder number two still has its person. Take this off. Okay, apparently I can't adjust my equipment while I'm on the ladder. that iron gauntlet off so that I can be ready to adjust to pull arm for spiders and not risk being in fat roll mode. I hate that attack. Yeah, get stuck on your friends. Fuck it. Shit! The stupid is strong with this one. I've had enough of this. Just put the pole arm on. It's been doing you just fine. All the way up to this point. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. And boulder number two is now unmanned. And not using strong attack. Still managed to block. That's good. Okay. Bit derpy there, but I'm still in a position to recover from. Did you just die already? Ah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any more life gems on this nonsense. There it is. Thank you for the lock-on, finally. How much damage does this do compared to the Claymore? 205... 174, yeah. You know what? Just... Let's just... Eh. Eh. Okay. Kinda useless. Slow. Followed by sweep. Now that's fairly handy. And yeah, that, which destroys my stamina and is completely stupid. Damn it! Run away. Fucking hell! Scrag it. Back to the bonfire.
That's odd. He didn't take very much damage at all from those first two hits. Then that final hit just scragged him. Okay, yeah, I can hear them getting out of the walls right as I walk into that first chamber there. And suddenly, less damage. And suddenly, magically larger reach. I wonder if my game's just overloading itself or something right now. This is weird. Whatever. Alright, let's see. Take, should I leave the bow on and maybe take a couple pot shots from behind the pews? Eh, it's worth trying. Nah, I'm not gonna do the rush... the rush spin thing again. That's just gambling unnecessarily right now. Yeah, you know, everything's apparently a gamble right now because I'm on stupid mode. Yeah, hey, I've been in the boss room like five times. I know that the first thing they do is shoot two lightning bolts. Doesn't mean that, you know, I can resist the stupid and just completely forego that knowledge and do something that'll get me killed. Whatever, shutting up. There's just nothing I can do about that. I lose the lock on, and as soon as I try to back up, I turn around and swing my ass to them. Offer up a nice bit of juicy human ass for the spiders to bite, liquefy, and then suck out. So come to think of it, it has a liquefying effect on insects. Does it have a liquefying effect? When it's inside, when it gets, uh, when a human gets a spider bite. What? What? How does that work? Whatever. Free gifts. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth or whatever the stupid saying is. Give me it. Where is it? Bit less damage. Because it's not a pole arm. 16 pounds. 16 pounds. Okay, let's see. Brutish, mighty sword with feather white twig. Does it on average chore to even hold up? Oh, do its great weight. Terrible experiments were said to have taken place. Yeah. Alright, so it's just a great sword and not an ultra great sword. That's a pretty nice attack. Probably leaves me extraordinarily open, though. And, yeah. Takes a while to get the shield up. That would be fun in PvP, but not here. Swing and... Whatever. I got one spider left. I hope. Good enough. Let's see. Whatever. Let's try it. It takes a while to get the roll going after doing that. Um, what about the light attack? Yeah, it can roll almost as fast as most other weapons. Alright, so, first order of business. Avoid the magic shot.
Yeah, fuck you this time. Maybe I should just poke them from behind my shield. That might have been a much better, more intelligent tactic than this nonsense I've been doing so far. Ugh, pardon me. Yeah, that's a good point. Poke, and yeah. I'm kind of thinking of it, I'm not really blocking any physical attacks. Maybe I should have just put on a magic shield already. Magic and lightning are both 65. Uh, even better on this. Kind of heavy, though. Yeah, fat rolling. And I don't have the gloves on, so I can't take those off to prioritize it. I don't really know why you'd ever want to do that. Okay, of course I can do it with that off. God, it's even it's weaker than the claymore. Why the hell was I trying to wield this? Yeah, and I can do my pokey poke and get out of the way. Yep. All right, let's try this. Thirty percent less physical protection, but so far that hasn't been a relevant issue. instantly. Oh. Well, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I'm taking nothing from the magic now. Of course, I still have to be having the shield facing them when the magic goes off. Yeah, this ain't got nothing on me now. No, except when I want to take a punch to the face, because I'm stupid. Can I get a lock on the guy right in front of me, please? Thank you. Well, this is gonna be a problem. Or I could just ignore them. I don't think they can catch up. Get away before the big dude does his little blast shockwave thing. It was as simple as changing my shield. Yeah, that's dangerous. Not so much with anything else so far. Poke. These guys are really getting annoying me now. I don't actually... Oh, I'm supposed to hit him with that. Once I find out. Yeah, don't, don't mind me. I'm just gonna, you know, try and kill your limping congregation here. No, thank you. Damn, your paper! I should've just butt-rushed you guys. Oh god, this isn't, uh... The Pyromancy Lady's boss. Prowling Magus. Alright, now I've got something fun and creative for you assholes. now. Not really, though. Oh, Titanite Slab. Thank you. I was rather expecting a spell, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. 15,000 souls. Let's get my other shield out, shall we? Light roll. That's kind of nice. Okay. 
Excuse me? The fuck? Slug people? Ghost? Uh, whatever he is, he's got something trailing around behind him on the ground. Stairs? Ah, oh, bonfire. That's kind of nice. I could be, what, 10, 15,000 souls up if I hadn't died to stupidity and thought to change my shield? Once again, hindsight, 2020. You, get up. Bearer of the Shut up! Let I am not in the mood to hear a monologue that I've heard a thousand times right now. Uh, what do, what do, what do, what do, what do? Yeah, let's start getting the dexterity up. Let's see, this costs 13. This costs, well, nothing. The halberd, on the other hand, costs 15. So I was just barely being able to equip that. The heavier greatsword costs 12. So I'm probably going to need dexterity for the weapons I still want soon. Two more. Yeah, I guess this does have higher base damage, and therefore, even if the improvements are exactly the same, it's going to have a higher base total damage just because it's heavier. And that slam attack is fairly useful. I imagine it does immense poise damage. I haven't really tried this out. I remember thinking that it's fairly fast for such a large Go. weapon. Um, well, I can't think of anything else. I still don't really have anywhere else I can go. So... Ever onwards, I suppose. Chapel Threshold, you say? That's conspicuous. Oh, there's just an open door here. You can close it if you want. Take that. Oh, you poor thing. Somebody stuffed you in a pot. That thing would be above me right about now. I bet it's a projectile user. I think I hear a gem lizard. Uh huh. You just stay right there. Give me a second. Oh, that would have been useful. Yeah, this doesn't have quite the moveset I want to hit a gem lizard. Let's, uh, no, not this. This. Perfect. Probably going to die to something firing at me right about now. Fucking hell. There's lots of lovelies over here. Oh! Okay, then. This is a problem. Safe zone? Okay, I think I'm safe. There's quicksand under me. That thing tried to spit at me. Let's find something that has, yeah, decent balance between magic and field physical defense. Swap this back out for my stabby stabby. Nobody's impressed, asshole.
strange that he doesn't have his googly eyes. I think there's one above me, and then one right across from me. Yep, I was right. Those things have projectile attacks. Very slow and strange projectile attacks, but projectiles don't pass. Nah, of course. Physics. Ah, how nice. Physics in my favor for once. Okay, and he was just guarding a corpse. He didn't actually drop anything. I think I can get to the right here, and it will not quite send me. Yep. Fucking heal. What the fuck? Like, obviously, he hit me in the face, but I guess that's a fake gem lizard to booby trap you? Did I hit him and then he exploded, or what was up with that? I heard a door. Or something that sounded an awful lot like it. Let's go into this, uh, prepared, shall we? Something funny going on here. I find it very strange that the door is just open by default. Okay, let's try this again. Or maybe not. So! Next time, we finally got past the boss because I managed to stop being stupid for a few seconds and, you know, calm down and think. Try a different shield. Instant win. Anyway. Next, we explore this area, we forge ever deeper into the land of Dark Souls 2 and Dragon Lake, and uh, maybe get that gem wizard and enough Titanite shards to upgrade our Claymore one more time. And then fully upgrade it with the, titan like, the large Titanite shards so that I can really start depending on it. See y'all next time. You have a great day now. Bye bye